welcome back once again today we are going to continue with the mcqs of mathematics everyone can learn some mathematics and so let's get into it we are solving from 51 and we are starting with the algebra once again so i'll bring my calculator in then we can be using the calculator to help us do it now i am just including the calculator for you to be able to use it to solve the question very fast and very quickly all right the time that we'll be spending on this place will be more than when you are using it in the exam hall alone because here i'm trying to explain for you to understand in the exam hall you are not going to explain it you are just going to use it to answer straight away all right so without much ado let's get into it so we are solving the for the value of x in 5x plus 2 equal to 3x plus 10 all you have to do is to group like terms. So bring the variables to the left hand side and the non variables to your right hand side. So when you are bringing x, 3x here become negative. So we have 5 minus 3x, that will give you 2x. Then two, these two come to be negative. So 10 minus 2, that will give you 8. So 8 divided by 2, that will give you 4. All right. So the right answer is A. But let's keep it in the calculator. So we have 5x. 5x plus 2 equal to 3x plus 10. Then solve. And your answer is what? 4. So the correct answer here is A. Number 52. What is the value of x 4x squared minus x plus 1 when x is equal to negative 1 so anyway you see x replaced what negative 1 so we have 4 4 so we just type 4 in the bracket negative 1 squared minus negative 1 so replace all the values of x with minus one now plus one and your correct answer here is a six number 53 if y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 and x is equal to 1 find y so again anywhere you see x you put inside 1 so we have 2 in the bracket 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 5 and that is 0 so the correct answer here is a 54 factorize x squared minus 4x plus 4 you can do the elimination method test all these answers and to see which one you get correct so expand them to see whether i will have this value when you expand any of them and you have this it means that's the correct answer and otherwise i can just find the values of x and then use that to determine so i'm coming to use the calculator so press mode five and three three is the quadratic equation so the first value the coefficient here is one so we key side one the next is minus four and positive four so we have x to be 2, all right, is off. So, but we have only one root. So it means double root. So it means our correct answer will be what? B. When you expand it, you, you are going to get this, all right? So from what the calculator has given us. So we have only one answer, which is 2. So when you take this and you go to 0, x is equal to positive 2. If solve for y, if 2y minus 8 is equal to 3y plus 4. So all you have to do is to group like times, bring the variables to your left hand side and then the variables to your right hand side. So when I'm bringing negative 3 here, 3y three will become negative 3. So 2y minus 3 will give me negative y. Then negative 8 coming here will be positive 8. Then 4 plus 8 will give me 12. So we divide through by negative 1 and your answer will be negative 12. So we can key that inside the calculator. To get the answer so we have 
2 so we don't use the y we use x minus 8 equal to equal to 3 x 3 x plus 4 then solve for the answer so the answer here is 12 all right so the correct answer is b they come to question 56 56 say which equation is not quadratic quadratic equations have the highest power as 2 the highest degree is 2 so if the highest degree is not 2 then it is not quadratic so this is quadratic this is quadratic and you can see that the c is a cube root which means it's not a quadratic root so the answer is c now this one says to find k find k if kx is equal to 3 and then x is equal to 1 over 2 1 over 2 so we can keep that inside the calculator as well replace it so x is 1 over 2 1 over 2 k now k let's still use x but we know that we are using we are representing what k representing k equal to 3 so so that's 1 over 2 so i drink it in well x equal to 3 then solve so the answer is 6 and you can better still solve it so we have 1 over 2 k is equal to 3 then you cross multiply by 2 and you get what 6 k to be equal to 6 now here simplify 2 in the bracket x minus 3 bracket close plus 4x so 2x minus 6 plus 4x so 2x plus 6x we for 6x minus 6 all right so the correct answer here is um, a number 59 says that if a minus 2 is equal to 10 find a all right just group like terms pick the negative 2 here to become positive so 10 plus 2 give you 12 12 divided by 4 that gives me 3 and you can equally point that inside the calculator so you have 4 a so we are using x for the a a minus 2 is equal to 10 then you solve so the correct answer here is 3 all right the correct answer is 3 a now 60 solve for x when x minus 7 is equal to 2x plus 3 so group like terms again 2x coming out here will be negative 2x. So x minus 2x will give me negative x. Then 7, negative 7 coming with positive 7. So 3 plus 7 will give me 10. Divided by negative 1. That will give you negative 10. And again, point in the calculator. And your answer will be clear for you. So we have x minus 7 equal to 2x plus 3 then solve and that will be negative 10 now we continue with geometry the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle so if we have this as a triangle saying that the angle angle here is equal to the sum of the opposite angles here the two opposite so this one is not part so when you add this and this you must get one exterior angle so the correct answer here is a what is the area of a triangle with base 8 centimeters and height 6 centimeters so area of a triangle is half base times height, half of the base times height, and half of eight is four times six. That will give you twenty-four. 
and you can do that on the calculator I have base and the base is 8 times 6 and your correct answer is a now remember the unit is very important the centimeter squared if you don't put it is wrong it's not an area if there's no unit you have to write the square unit so because areas are always in square unit a regular hexagon that's number 63 has how many sides a regular hexagon have how many sides that is six sides the answer is b number 64 the volume of a cylinder is given by the formula the volume of a cylinder now when you are dealing with volume you must find height inside volume anything at all you are looking for h must always be there so if here c is not having so c is already out it's now left with um b and a now the area is the base area times height so cylinder have a base area the base is a circle so and the area of a circle is pi r squared all right times height so it means base area times height the answer is a what is the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon the sum of an interior angles of a pentagon the pentagon is a five-sided plane figure and the formula is given as n minus 2 so n which is 5 so 5 minus 2 times 180 and now we get the answer as 50, 540 degree. All right. In a right triangle, the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So in a right triangle, something like this. This is the 90 degree side. So the side, this longer side is called the hypotenuse. That's what it means. So that's the hypotenuse. The correct answer here is A. And the angle as the adjacent or the opposite depends on where the other angle is. So if the angle is here, then this side becomes the opposite. This side becomes the opposite. And this side becomes the adjacent. But if the angle is here, then it's rather vice versa. Now, 67. The area of a parallelogram is given by the formula base times height. Base times height. Oh, I'm highlighting two things. So the answer is A. The correct answer here is A. Base times height. Alright, let me deepen it. Number 68. If the radius of a circle is doubled the area will be quadrupled the area will be quadrupled the distance around a circle is called circumference the distance around a circle is called circumference so that's the perimeter of the circle all right a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel side is called only one pair of parallel side is called what a trapezium Trapezium. All right. We are now continuing with the numbers. What is the square root of 144? So you can just get the answer as 12, but let's do that. Square root of 144. And you can see the answer is what? A. Number 72. What is the next prime after? 13 so from 13 you are going to 17 because 15 is not a prime the prime number has only two factors one and the number itself so 13 is a prime it's because i have only one and 13 there's no other number that you can divide 13 so the number that follows here is 17 so the correct answer is b what is the value of five five factorial the factorial here means you are multiplying it down so five times four times three times two times one and you do that so you get five times four times three times two times one 
equal to 120. So the correct answer here is 120. Convert the fraction 5 over 8 to a decimal. So you can just type 5 divide 8. And you press the to get 0 0.625. 0 0.625 as the correct answer. That's C. Now 75. What is the value of 3 keep? 3 keep. So at this part, at least the calculator works very quickly. So the answer is B. 27. The lowest common multiples of 7 and 9 is, so one of the easiest ways you can do it, just pick 7 times 9. 7 times 9. You quickly get the correct answer. That's 63. Which of the following numbers is divisible by 3? The reason why here was 76. We, I picked 7 times 9 because it's prime. And once you have one of them as prime, the easy way is to multiply the two numbers to get the common multiple. Because this is not a prime number. All right. Yeah. So 77, which of the following numbers is divisible by 3? Um, you can just try that out with the calculator. But you will know quickly that 23 is out of the story. So 23 divided by 3 decimal. 36 divide 3 12 then 41 is a prime divide 3 so, so, so fraction so it means the correct answer here is what b 36 the reciprocal of 4 over 7 is what the reciprocal means you are being bringing the denominator to the top and building the numerator to the down the upper number is called the numerator and the down number is called the denominator so you capsize it so it means our correct answer here is what? A. Now 79. What is the percent? What is 20% of 50, 150? So percentage means out of 100. So you can just pick 20 divide 100. Off means multiplication. So times 150. And that will give me. 30. So the correct answer here is A. What is the square root of? So what is the square of 15? The square of 15. So we pick 15 squared. Press the equals and that's 225. The correct answer here is A. The sum of the first six odd numbers is to so the first six odd numbers. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. So the set of first 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 11. And that is 36. A. 82. If A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3, what is a exponent b? So a is 2 and b is 3. So raise power 3. And your correct answer is b, 8. Convert the decimal 0 0.2 to a fraction. So when you have this decimal, all you have to do is to round it. And when you're rounding it, the number of zeros, depending on the number of times you have moved. So we pick the decimal point you are moving this. You only moved one. So you now have 2 over 10. And you can break this one down. 2 into itself will give you 1. And then 2 into 10 will give you 5. And better still, you can use the calculator to do that. So we have 0 0.2. 0 0.2. And quickly press your equals. And that's 1 over 5. So the correct answer here is... A. What is the keep root of 27? The keep root of 27. So you can use the keep root by looking at the numerals on top. So look at the, the, the color there. It means you are supposed to press shift and that root sign, right? Then 27. And your answer is what? 3. That's B. 
85. What is the GCD of 14 and 21? That's the greatest common divisor of 14 and 21. So looking at out of this, which number can divide 14 and divide 21? All right? 2 can divide 14, but you can divide 21. 3 can divide 21, but you can divide 14. 7 can divide 14 and can divide 21. So the correct answer here is C. Now, 786, which of the following numbers is a perfect square? A perfect square. So when you take the square root of the number, it's not give you any remainder, right? So when I take the square root of it, 20 it will give me decimals. So it means the correct answer will be 25 because the square root of 25 is 5. So our correct answer here is B. All right, thank you once again. Don't forget to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. So when I release any other new video, you'll not be left out. More to the point, hit the like button so that YouTube can promote my videos to a lot of audience. Thank you and have a nice time. Meet you in my next video.